The Royal Scots Dragoon Guards Challenger 2s are bound for Ayrshire Barracks in Mönchengladbach. Here they can be stored in a temperature and humidity controlled environment to keep corrosion at bay. And with the possibility the only other British storage facility at Ashchurch could be sold off, they could soon be joined by the rest of the surplus fleet. For the first five years you can say that stored tanks will be held in readiness against a threat. After about five or six years, when they lose commonality with the current fleet and so forth, um, after a while someone's going to walk around the warehouse and go, and we're heating this at how much cost a year? So, yes, it's, it's, let's call it a um, slow death. Seven Brigade's history is interwoven with the tank. As 7th Armoured Division, the Desert Rats routed Nazi forces from North Africa. And in the Cold War, their armour was part of the package that kept Soviet forces on their side of the Iron Curtain. But latterly, warfare has become lighter, more about protected mobility, and Britain's tanks have taken a back seat. About the only country that believes that the tank has had its day is uh, the UK and the British Army. Uh, for some reason, look at Afghanistan. The UK did not deploy Challenger 2 out of Afghanistan. Almost everyone else who had main battle tanks deployed main battle tanks to uh, Afghanistan. The British forces in Helmand have relied on Danish leopards, used not as tank killers, but as infantry support. And even if the Challenger 2 didn't make it to Afghanistan, the British Army isn't getting rid of them all just yet. Something like 200 will remain in service as part of the Army of 2020. Will Inglis, Forces News.